also have the house at Wisdom Realty in the city of Lagos. We also have a branch in Abuja. However, um, I just wanted to um, let you in on the way on how my 2016 has been an interesting and eventful year, particularly for the skill acquisition scheme that was set out to uh, you know to carry out. We observed that in the year 2016 there were lots of graduates, lots of testimonies, and many of them eventually gave their lives to Jesus Christ, or some of them were filled with the uh, with the evidence of tongues. So it was a wonderful experience. They grew spiritually and also they were, they were ministered to as far as they had Areas were concerned. So that was the high point for me for 2016. For 2017, what I want is more of the same. I mean, if something is working, you just want you want it to keep working and you want more of it. So um, where we had um, results in hundreds, I want us to have um, results in thousands. Where we had results in tens, I want us to have results in um, hundreds. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I am um, Mrs. Sogechi Ibaru. Um, co-pastor with uh, my husband, Kochidi Ibaru, of the House of Wisdom Builds. And um, my 2016 was a wonderful year for me. It was um, a sober year, the sense that um, God took me through his work, one step at a time. And um, I think for me, that's um, the most important um, for my life, um, even though you know towards the end um, there was a um, cause to um, to grieve, but I mean as believers we know we have greater um, in, in sure hope uh, with Him. We had a word from uh, His servants um, from God, um, 2016 being our year of um, divine of sustenance, God our sustainer, and. Um, even though, you know, we were seeing what had happened in the country of, um, like they say, the recession. But I have seen God's hand. I have seen His mighty power for His children, for those that believe. So what does that tell me? That 2017 will indeed be a year of divine sustenance for God's children. So what's my, um, my word to you? Just be encouraged, um, don't um, live in fear, have faith in God, knowing that um, what affects um, the people of the world and quotes should not affect you. If you choose to walk in his steps, following his instructions one step at a time, then indeed you experience him as your divine sustainer. So cheers and have a wonderful 2017. Yes. Yeah, praise God. My name is Oke okay, Wadley. Um, 2016 has been a glorious year, but like the Bible says that the steps of a good man is an ever shining light, which shines bright and bright on the perfect day. So 2017, as a ministry, we're looking forward to God's goodness and His faithfulness. He has given us a word that is a year of divine sustenance, so we're trusting Him. That over and above uh, what the people are saying, what the economies are saying, what the government is saying about recession or no recession, we see the place in the word of God that they that put their trust in God will not be put to shame. So, as an individual, I look forward to 2017 that full of God's goodness. So I will apply ourselves, apply myself as an individual, we apply ourselves to the local assembly, esteeming the word of God, and we'll surely expect 2017 that full of God's sustenance and God's provision. Praise the Lord. All right, my name is LC. I would like to use the opportunity to wish you. A Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in 2017. Um, I want you to take the Word of God serious next year and see the benefit God has for you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Carl Ibe. Uh, 2016 has been a very wonderful year. In 2016, uh, so many breakthroughs went through. And I'm um, grateful to God for He has made it possible. It's truly and indeed divine uh, sustainability for me and my family and looking forward to 2017 and next few days I, I believe it's going to be a uh, more breakthrough for me and my family and also what we've been asking God for was to come to pass in full and I, I believe God and everything is going to be perfect in next year 2017. Thank you very much and I wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. My name is Evelyn Ross. 2016. 
but has been a great team. Great year in the sense that I got a new job where I I had the opportunity to and experience a new past in life with what I was doing or in line with what I read in school, which was my desire. Yeah, because um, I found out what I was doing wasn't really didn't have to do with my training in school. Okay, my name is Kizoka Ibe. Yeah. Um, I want to thank God for this year. It's been a wonderful year. Um, thank God for His mercies, for His uh, faithfulness. I thank God so much for all I've achieved this year on the job, in my family, and all of that. It's been a wonderful year. Free from, uh, even for the main fact that uh, I go to work every day and I come back. Leave early, come back late, and all of that. But it's just been, I've just been going from one, from one level of glory to the other, and I give God all the praise. And then for 2017, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, very excited about the new year because I know it's going to be a wonderful year. Yeah, there are so many things I, I, um, I wanted to achieve. I hope that I would have achieved in 2016, and I know that 2017 um, I'm going to achieve that. There are so many, yes, I prayed for so many things, and then um, it feels like um, God didn't answer them in 2016, but I know that this 2017, in 2017, this coming year, that I'm going to get answers to all my, that even to, um, um, the ones that I didn't, um, even for the ones I didn't pray for, 2017 is going to be a beautiful year. I'm going to be divine in myself, my family, everyone around me. We're all going to be divine and sustained in the year 2017. Yeah, we're so excited yeah. to have come to um, the end of 2016. Uh, so amazing for us. Um, we thank God for bringing us to this ministry because yeah. we've seen the, the Word of God made real in our lives. Um, looking forward to 2017. Um, what can I say other than what, like our pastor has said, he talked about being more daring, you know, and like, things we've learned, um, like the word of God is the vehicle of change, so we're just simply going to make commitments to um, be more committed to the word of God and um, be more daring to follow the leading of God. That's um, essentially our focus for 2017. It was such a beautiful 2016. I'm very grateful to God for what He's done in my life, in my husband's life, in the children's life. I have, I can never say that being um, a child of God is a regret. It's something that you enjoy every day. It's, it's, it doesn't have to take one year for you to see the beauty and the goodness of God. I, I thank God for what He has done for me. Some of which I can share, some of which I might not be able to share, but I essentially see them as this very good. One of the things that Pastor Judy said, she said, he said that there are simple adjustments that can produce profound results. That will be my focus for 2017, coupled with the message, with the word that he heard from God for the church. He says, it's a year of divine sustenance. I don't think there could be a better word for this season. And I thank God for bringing us to this season.